sun, a giant hot ball that without we would never see the light of the day, as well as any life on earth ever. So yeah, sun has allowed us to live, but it is as well slowly killing us. We all know the sun will turn into a red giant 5 billion years from now, but it doesn't matter since the sun will become so hot in a billion years that every ocean and water on earth will evaporate, so no life will be possible without water. But that is still long off before we eventually either destroy ourselves and our planet or move on to another planet, moon or even another star. So during this process of our sun dying, interesting things will happen to other planets and moons. So the sun will expand so much it is insane. So this is our current sun and this is the maximum size it could reach when it becomes a red giant. This dot here is our current sun and in this dot you can fit million and three hundred earths and it is million and four hundred kilometers in diameter and when it becomes a red giant it will be three hundred million kilometers in diameter our sun will expand to the orbit of earth and will swallow mercury venus and possibly earth but if it doesn't swallow earth it will become a hot hell world but Mars will still be there and it will be extremely hot. Sun would appear a few hundred times larger from even Mars. A cold place that is now will become a hell in future. Jupiter and its moons will as well be very hot. Jupiter's moon Europa will have its icy crust unfrozen and it will have oceans flowing on its surface. It is as well possible that an atmosphere could be formed on Europa at that time consisting of oxygen it will be a hot oceanic moon. But here is the interesting part. Saturn will be in the habitable zone. And its cold moon Titan, that currently averages a temperature of minus 179 Celsius, will finally have a good temperature for human life and life in general. Liquid water could flow on Titan. Titan as well has an atmosphere and has water underneath its surface. So when the sun becomes a red giant, humans could pump that water back onto the surface and we'll have water flowing through Titan. We could create oxygen with plants. Basically, we could transform Titan into being Earth-like very easily. So, while we may have moved to another star at that point, there still could be humans in the solar system left. We could still thrive in our home system. Uranus and its moons will not be used for living since they are small and have low gravity and they most likely will be used for mining out important resources and transporting them back to Titan. And Neptune will have no major moons left, since Neptune will swallow its largest moon Triton, or form it into a ring system. Pluto will turn its frozen nitrogen on the surface into liquid nitrogen, since nitrogen melts on minus 210 Celsius, but water would still be frozen. Still, it would have liquid nitrogen oceans flowing on its surface. So basically, almost every icy moon and dwarf planet will have liquid flowing through on their surface. Solar system will become a place of vast oceans. Our sun will completely change the solar system. We will probably populate every major moon of Saturn as well. And it will be like that for 3 billion years, until the sun reaches the terrible fate in 8 billion years from now of exploding and creating a big magnificent nebula. And humans and Titan will encounter that event and suddenly the sun will start to cool down and it will be just a dot of what it used to be. It would become a cold white dwarf. Suddenly the hot oceanic moons will start freezing again. This is the deadline for humans and Titan. In case if we haven't found a solution to cope with these cold and harsh conditions, humans and Titan in 5 billion years will as well encounter a collision with Andromeda, meaning Milky Way and Andromeda will collide. So that means that humans and Titan will be in a completely new galaxy called Milkdromeda. In case we could somehow survive the unbearable cold, we yet have another deadline, that is in the next 30 trillion years, yes it is that far. So then the sun will collide with another star and potentially eject every planet out of its orbit. 
but it is possible that planets will somehow stay in orbit and Titan will stay in place. In that case, it has another quadrillion years. That is one with 15 zeros. Keep in mind, the universe exists for just 13.8 billion years, so that's quite some time. Yeah, in quadrillion years, over that time, Sun will very slowly cool down and turn into a black dwarf. A completely cooled down star. Humans and Titan and another moons would have no energy sources left. That will be the beginning of the end of our home solar system. Every planet and moon we once knew will be left in the dark, floating.